Hello folks, right so this video is about organic views versus views which are bought and paid for. Now then I've recently discovered and quite shocked really that there's many YouTube channels, um, other social media platforms where people buy their views and they're just basically fake views. I, mean, I, know, I knew this went on but I didn't realise that there's actual channels, uh, YouTube channels, Spotify accounts with huge numbers it looks like they're successful but they've just bought those views and um, and that's it they're just basically it's just a shell just a fake facade and uh, I recently sort of come across these things and some people even think that they're successful because of it um, and kind of sort of boast about that type of thing which I find very strange now then, I ain't got a problem with people buying views or advertising and all that type of thing. In this video, we're going to have a look at Google Ads. And um, like I said, I've done an experiment with a handful of videos on the Cypher, Vera, uh, Cypher Zero channel, which is a relatively new channel that I've started up, which is features electronic music and uh, stuff like that. But um, anyway, like I say, yeah, if, if these things work, like advertising for sure. I mean, you need to get your your products and your whatever you're doing in front of people's faces and all that type of thing. Um, and if it works, then obviously I would do it. But it seems to me, after doing an experiment with a handful of videos, with only a little money, I spent a tenner spread across four videos. So ten pounds would be about twelve dollars in US dollars. So yeah, so I thought I'd. Um, try it out with a handful of videos and if you can see my cypher zero page here we've got popular uploads and it will show the first six videos so the most popular is sisyphus which has 1.2k views now that this is organic this was just luck on my part i don't know why it got uh, 1.2k views i did notice the video which is uploaded from the distributor uh, and i use distro kid for music um, and you can upload to YouTube and it will have you might you might have come across it or come across bands topics so in this case it'll be cypher zero topic uh, that video got 1.7k so I think this video which I uploaded separately to the cypher zero channel um, probably piggybacked that particular video to gain those views my topic video where I've got an artist a music page now I don't like using the word artist I don't know why they call musicians artists and so it gets on my nerves it sounds a bit pretentious again doesn't it anyway um, yes I've actually hidden the videos from topic on this channel because it created its own playlist but it's kind of jumbled so I, I sort of took it away from the main channel but it's still there you can find it in the search anyway so um, yes yeah, so the Cyphus that's purely organic now then, I put five pounds, which would be about six dollars, seven dollars maybe, on Cyber Zero Subdivide Trailer. I just chose that short little video, not a particularly special video, but um, when I started the ad campaign on Google Ads, I put the fiver on, and there was about seventy-two views on the video. So as you can see here, it's got five hundred forty-three views. Um, empty views there's no comments on this video whatsoever whereas on the organic Sisyphus video with 1.2k views there is quite a few comments and quite a few likes in fact on the Cypher Zero video I got two dislikes from the campaign so actually it, it didn't do anything and actually spread across all the videos that I did put money into which was um, Intergalactic here Cypher Zero Intergalactic Clockwork Android um, and a Fortnite radio video, which is a daft video. These other two here on the popular uploads are organic, so Regenerate is organic and so is Subdivide. So um, let's just take a look at Cypher Zero Subdivide trailer. So this is what I put the most money into. So um, three likes, of course, the dislikes are hidden. YouTube brought that in a while back and we've got no comments three likes but there is two dislikes so perhaps we could go and have a look at that video 
So as you can see, right, we've got the list of videos here. Um, so if we go down to the subdivide trailer, you will see it's got three likes, two dislikes, zero comments, and that's after putting five pounds on that video. So pretty much a waste of time, really, in my view. Um, I think maybe when people spend money on Google Ads, they probably don't spend millions probably to attract your customer base or your audience like you would in real life. People spend, a for companies spend a fortune, don't they, on advertising. Um, I don't think it's going to help. I mean, I can't afford to spend millions. I could probably afford to spend a tenner here and there, but that's just going to be just a waste of time. I do prefer to grow my channels. I've got other channels as well, and I do prefer to grow them organically. Um, like I say, if I knew that something worked in my favour and was beneficial to the channel, then I would use it. But it would need to be genuine. I don't want empty views. There's a view. There's a there's a video on YouTube somewhere, and it's got like 10 million views or something. And um, I don't think there's even one comment on there. There might be one comment or two comments, and there's hardly any likes. I don't think there's there's probably about 10 likes, but the the videos had like. 10 million views now then the reason for that is probably because they spent all that money on um skippable ads you know when you see the skippable ads and um when you're watching um youtube yourself if you haven't uh, paid for a subscription of course i mean i hardly ever watch those skippable ads i probably watch 0.01 percent of a skippable ad it has to really attract my attention most of the time i just skip the ad straight away and i should imagine most people do as well but when that ad has started, that's going to count as a view. So hence why that video has got like 10 million views and hardly any comments or likes because it's, it's gained all those views from when people have watched the video for like a split second. Sometimes you're not even watching it, it just comes on, skip the ad, and there we go, well, that counts as a view. Um, so, I mean, that happens, even, you know, like at a lower scale, people use that, they'll have like, 200,000 views on a video, but they won't have any comments, or they might have a couple of comments. Um, and that's it, and that's, that's how you can tell how people have bought views for the channels. You can um, spot it by just by looking at the ratio between views, comments, and subscribers even. If you'll, no you'll notice that a lot of YouTube channels will hide their subscriber count and they'll hide the like um, count as well on the video. That's because they don't want you to see the low numbers um, on those particular stats, subscribers and likes, in relation to the views on their video. Plus people can be a bit insecure, but then, uh, uh, one of the reasons is, yeah, they just don't want, want you to see that. They don't want you to see the reality of their channel and the fake status of the channel. Whether they're, regardless of whether their content's good or not, I mean, some people have good content. I don't understand why people do that, because if you've got good content, you are going to get a good audience at some point. You just, just need to be a little bit patient, perhaps. But you're going to get that, you're going to get that audience. Um, if you've got rubbish on your YouTube channels or wherever, you're just not going to get that. You can buy as many views as you like. It doesn't make your product any better. It's just total... It's just a total farce. And like I say, like if you see YouTube channels where they hide their subscribers and they hide their likes, I'd be very furtive about about it. I don't think it gives off a very good sign. It has that like skullduggery vibe written all over it. Anyway, like I said, it's up to people what they want to do. If they want to create some sort of fake uh, status around themselves, that's up to them. What does annoy me a lot, though, which I think people need to be warned about is if these channels are trying to sell you a service so a lot of the time you know you get people that are trying to they'll tell you that they can grow your channel or they can grow your spotify page or whatever instagram whatever that is so they'll fake their numbers to make them look like they can do it themselves because nobody's going to buy views off of people that have got low a low view count but um if somebody buys those views they can do the whole snake oil thing and con you into parting with money that way. But um, I don't know how they. <laughs> it's just it's just a joke. I just it's it's just it's just really weird. Um, 
So anyway, let's have a look at one of these videos. Right, so we had a look at uh, the Cypher Zero Subdivide trailer, which got 543 views, and you know, just, just under 500 of those are just bought for empty views. Rubbish. Uh, the the audience retention is probably quite low as well. That's another thing you spot the audience retention. That's how long they watch the video. Um, which is not too bad on this video, twenty eight point nine, but uh, still not great. So um, I mean, you, you I mean it's great if you can get a, get somebody to watch your video for fifty percent of the time. Of course, obviously you're going to get a lot of people that just they're just going to click on and off the video, so that's going to take your average down. So um, I'm not quite sure what, what the range is to be good as far as um, audience retention is concerned. I have got some videos that are like less than 10%, so that's very, very bad. Right, so yeah, so if you compare, so we got Cypher Zero, Subdivide Trailer, zero comments, 543 views, 72 of those before we put the, 72 views before we put the money in, three likes, two dislikes, um, no comments. Go to the Sisyphus video here, which is totally organic. 1,247 views, 30 comments, uh, 40 likes, 3 dislikes. So if we go, we're just, uh, we're just going to check that video out. Grammarly makes communication at work one click simpler. Whether you're looking for a new job, pulls up. So there are 40 likes, dislikes are hidden of course because that's what YouTube does, 30 comments. Uh, so that's 15 comments really So because I replied to each of those comments. But that's still pretty good for a video of a thousand views or just over a thousand views. And you've got people that have you know like 500,000 views and five comments and they've probably hidden their likes as well. Or if they do show that the likes it might be, it will be quite quite a lot less is the ratio is not not very good at all and let's have a look at a lower video so even a video like my latest uh, well one of the latest videos well there are like 96 views cypher zero it's a cypher so i just made a little cartoon homage video ulysses 31 homage video so it's got 96 views it's got 12 comments six likes I mean, that's pretty good at 96 views. At least you get an interaction with the video. You've got a genuine, you know that there's a percentage of genuine views in that video. So 12 comments, of course I've responded to all of those, so that's six comments from people, but that's still good for 96 views. Got 53 subscribers. Now then, I didn't get any subscribers from the money I spent on Google Ads on those on that handful of videos. So that's ten pounds. You want to get a few subscribers for ten pounds. I would have thought in my head I would like to have a couple of subscribers, but there's no subscribers after paying for Google Ads. Um, all these subscribers have come from organic attraction to the channel. So people that just found the channel. <laughs> I mean, obviously, there's people that I know that uh, comment on my videos. Lemon Verbena, I know who she is, so that's a friend. Julianne Cook's a friend. All the rest are people that I don't know that have found the channel in one way or the other. Now then, I will share my videos to other platforms like Facebook, although I don't, I'm doing that less frequently now because I, I think Facebook seems to be going down the pan and doesn't seem to be very useful for a platform anymore to uh, you know post your music or whatever you're doing um, so uh, yeah use Twitter that doesn't really do a lot really for me um, I use Instagram I post there probably more frequent now than I ever have done but I don't really lay much stock in it I use TikTok a fair bit that seems to attract quite a few um, genuine people so I think out of all those platforms TikTok is the best YouTube I think is good um, if you keep plugging away at your videos you will get somewhere if your videos are worth watching of course I think if anybody's got something worth a video that's worth watching or music worth listening to then of course you're um, 
going to attract an audience and that will happen even if it takes a little bit of time it will happen a little bit of effort a bit of time and it will happen guarantee it i've had a, i've got a couple of channels i mean my channels do go up and down because i um maybe i'm, I'm gonna have to admit maybe the content's not so good so i lose viewers um i've got a moon runner music channel i'll see if i can get that up here So that's another channel. Of course, we're operating here from Pollute Halo, which sort of started off as just posting just daft videos, really, just to practice in making videos. That was how that happened. And now I'm sort of making videos like this and other bits and pieces, um, tech, gaming, and daftness. Anyway, so as you can see, we got the my Moon Runner Music channel up. Um, the last videos had 48 views, and actually the last few videos haven't had very many views in comparison with the popular uploads. I had a video which I put up two years ago which has got 702,000 views and you can see that this is this is an organic video and you'll be able to see by the comments so let's have a look at the comments and the ratio I guess we got 11,000 likes and we got 1,495 comments which actually might be a little bit low because they say that you want to get you want to aim for about two comments per thousand views I think that's why I've seen from a few people so this works out about mind you there's a lot of like threads there's a lot of people talking amongst themselves here so I've probably contributed to maybe quarter of the comments I've replied to most of the comments on on um, the comments on this particular video 10 guitarist to get you kicked out of a guitar shop um, so we could say even if it's like 700 comments from other people that's still one comment per thousand views, so I'm, I'd be happy with that. Well, they probably want sort of fourteen hundred, maybe, to uh, even the average out. But this has got a good uh, view retention as well. Like people watch this video for around about sixty percent of the time. Um, although recently it's dropped off with views, there was moments where it's like gaining lots of views in one moment. So I think this uh, video is pretty much flatlined, but it's still pulling in, you know, like a few views a day. Um, but like I say, with this particular channel and another channel of mine, um, I haven't invested so much time in it. And um, in those particular channels, and the views have gone down, so maybe the content isn't so good. Although I, I, I do try my best each time. But maybe they're just not so exciting to other people. Um, I don't know how the YouTube algorithm works at the moment either, because they change that now and again. But um, yeah, so my, my channels can be a little bit erratic. Although you might see on some channels where they've got lots and lots of subscribers. On Moonrunner Music, you've got 2.96k subscribers. But the first, you might look down and think, well, this is a fake channel because the first video's only got like 48 views, or the, or the recent video's only got 48 views. And if you look at a lot of channels that might have a lot of subscribers where they've bought fake subscribers, you look at the videos and they've got no views at all. But with this particular channel, the views, half of these, half of my subscribers, on Moon Runner Music has come from just one video. Um, this one here, of course, with a 702K. The other half is from the rest of the videos. So, because um, I, I would I would love to say that all the, 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 the views came from my own music, but they don't. A lot of the popular videos on Moon Runner Music is the 10 guitar riffs, which are obviously other people's riffs, famous riffs. Uh, tab video, tab video there, four non blondes, WhatsApp. So that's popular. People like to learn that particular riff from that song, and a bunch of review, review videos. So that's what's made this particular channel popular. Not my own music, just review videos and tab videos. Um, but that's okay. That's fine. I mean, I do know that it's quite hard to promote your own music um, online because obviously there's so many people making music videos as well so many people making videos and all kinds of things so um my first channel that i started out with was you can see polluted halo there that's where we are at at the moment my first channel was this one which i haven't which i haven't hardly done anything to for a whole year this channel has got 9k subscribers so this channel is about making molds casting stuff and a bit of sculpting it kind of changed through the years um 
I probably started about five years ago uh, properly uh, and it's kind of um, went downhill a little bit over the last year or two and I haven't invested so much time into it. Um, it was called Drama Mask Evolution, um, but I split a lot because I used to put everything on there. But then I decided to split things up, you know, like music and the music. We've got the polluted halo thing going on here with um, different bits and pieces. Um, I put my art on another channel, which has hardly got any subscribers, about 21 subscribers, I think. So this one actually has the most, uh, the biggest audience. And uh, as you can see here, we've got popular uploads. Again, all organic, totally org organic. Somebody at the door. Got a parcel. Oh, sorry, Tim. Parcel. So that might be something else to review on this channel. Uh, what was I talking about? Um, yeah, so I split everything up. Um, yeah, this this uh, Drama Mask Evolution, which is now Drama Mask, Drama's Moulding and Casting Evolution, is just purely moulding and casting and making models to cast ornaments, paint jobs. And I split everything up that I was doing. I was putting everything on this channel, so I split it all up and put it on the other channels. So polluted halo here for reviews, tech, and gaming, and other bits and pieces. Um, plus the moon runner music, which is just that is now music reviews. And I've got two band pages for the music I make. So one's um, uh, Cypher Zero, which I'm, which we were analysing with the videos in this channel of course with the with Google Ads uh, which is a electronic music endeavor and there's another one another band called Angel Rust which is a uh, rock bands and all that so, uh, well a uh, Angel Rust which is like rock music and uh, prog rock and all that kind of thing so that's hardly got any subscribers 13 subscribers um, so that's in the process of being grown so um yeah, to spot out these things, like I say, um, what anybody does, I, it does disappoint me a little bit that now you look upon, you know, you look at Spotify or YouTube, you, look, you see these things and everybody seems to be like living in a fake world, you know, like, well, we know like with social media, everybody wants to look good, don't they, and all that type of thing and show like a fake status, but I'd rather have 13 subscribers, 13 genuine subscribers that are going to listen to the tunes, make a comment now and again or whatever, at least you know they're genuine than a thousand, hundred thousand subscribers with no value. It's like inflation, isn't it? You know, like once you start pumping money into the system and causing inflation and whatever, the, your goods go up, there's no value to the money. There's no value to these views and it's just empty. And um, like I say, there's, there's two reasons why people do it that I can think of. One is you're insecure about stuff and you just want to show that you're better than what you actually are. Um, just to pretend that you're successful and the other is to hoodwink people into buying a product being scammed into something yeah just like scammers and all that type of thing and um, I don't think that's good at all best to be genuine I think it's best to be genuine anyway I'd rather like I say I'm going to grow my channels organically I won't be using Google Ads again unless something comes along to show me that it is good for whatever I mean I must admit I don't know the ins and outs of Google Ads when I um, I didn't buy any skippable ads I bought the ads which would appear you know like on the, the search results on the side of the screen type of things anyway so when you select the video okay. you see all these videos on the side often you get a video that comes up to say that it's sponsored so I assume that's the ones you've bought. But anyway, I think your videos will pop up here. Or they might pop up on the pop-up screen here. But I'm not interested in skippable ads because I know that I skip them. Maybe some people do click on those ads. I mean, you're going to get a percentage of people that click on those ads, of course. Otherwise, people wouldn't do it. The big companies wouldn't do it. But I think you need to spend an awful lot of money to convert those into subscribers and a genuine audience as we know but anyway that's about it really have I got anything else to add anyway tell me what your thoughts are in the comments below um, I thought there was something else I was gonna say oh yeah let's have a look at the Spotify thing just briefly right so here's Cypher Zero's Spotify page so again we've hardly got any um, we hardly got an audience we've got 18 followers 46 monthly listeners I'm quite happy with that 
um, and where there's there's no count here on the songs because all my the the the, the listens or the plays on each song is below a thousand in fact probably clockwork android is my most listened to song um, and intergalactic which is round about they're about like 300 400 each and uh, the count will only appear once you get to a thousand or above um, the new song for some reason that's doing quite well that's, like in relation to everything else it's doing better than any of the other songs so that's up to about a hundred listens or plays or, or streams or whatever you want to call it already and that was only released a week or two ago so that's good in relation to my thing um, yeah all the, the Spotify thing is all about getting on playlists and again there's another thing that goes on there you can buy your listens and all that type of thing and there's no way, I'll tell you what, there's no way I'm paying to be heard. Um, it's like playing in a band, isn't it? Going to a pub and they ask you, you've got to pay the pub to let you play in there. Again, I understand advertising and all that type of thing, but there's no way I'm going to be paying to get myself on a playlist. So the playlists that are of, like here, they're like free. You make your own, but this is my playlist. That's a free one from Twitter. You get a few views there. And I think certainly that's the best way to start off, I think. And at least you're getting like genuine views as well. At least I think they're genuine. But there's no one paying to get onto a playlist. No way, Jose. If my music's not good enough, then it's not good enough. I mean, you don't know. I don't know what how big my audience is. I might only have an audience of 18 people in the whole world. There might be only 18 people in the world that like my music. So... What's the point in spending any more? I think there's probably... Well, I like to think that there's going to be some more people that's going to listen to the music, but um, it's not a big deal. I like making the music. If other people like it, that's great. But I'm certainly not going to go out there and... Um, I don't see the point. You see these people, like they spend all this money just to look good. That's all it is. So, uh, so yeah, like uh, another way you can see like fake or people that have bought views on... Spotify, um, which kind of sounds, always seems a bit desperate to me. Be genuine. Uh, they might have like, you know, like a hundred thousand streams on one song or a handful of songs or something like that. You can have a look at their follower count and it's like 50, 60, 70, something like that. Might be even the same as mine. Well, that ratio is pretty bad, isn't it? Um, I mean, not, I mean, obviously there's exceptions to the rule, uh, but I think mostly. Um, when you're looking at these things, it's just a farce. It's just to look good. That's all it is. I, I imagine people think that if you're going to get more subscribers, if there's already lots of subscribers there in the first place, or there's a lot of followers, if somebody sees there's a lot of views, they're more likely to subscribe. But I'm not that type of person. Um, if I like something, I'll subscribe to it or I'll listen to it. But like I say, like, um, if it works, great, do it. Um, if you've got anything to add, um, please let us know in the comments below. Um, and uh, that's about it, really. So I think I've ranted enough. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.